What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. I am so pumped about today's video because we're talking this right here, suppressors. Or are they silencers? Or are they cans? That's a good question. Anyway, you would think that getting a suppressor would take months and sometimes even years. And that was the case up until I believe February or March of 2024. Now, just so you guys know, it literally took me two days, two days for the ATF to say, yeah, we'll check mark this guy, both suppressors, let's approve it, push it forward, send him the email, he's golden, give him his cans. Literally wild. This is what I didn't realize about putting in forms for suppressors like this. And so last, I believe last Thursday or Friday, so July, I believe July 12th, I had put in to, to get these. Now the process to get suppressors is actually, I thought it was going to be like a one and done kind of thing where you fill out your form, you send it in and then you're good to go and then you wait. But that's not really how it works. You have to go to the ATF website, you have to create a login, they give you a unique uh, username and then you have to set a four digit passcode. That four digit passcode is for you to use and you only. So that's how you can actually register to get stuff like this. When I got all that information, I filled it out, put it on the website. I contacted my dealer, which is Coyote Creek Outdoors. Shout out to those guys. If you wanna support them, I'll link them down below for you guys. Go check them out, they're awesome. So anyway, I went to Coyote Creek and Silencer Shop has this really cool kiosk where you put all your information in that kiosk. You do have to get fingerprinted and they make it really simple and easy to use. Uh, you put all your information in there, email, number, social, and then you do all of your fingerprints and then you scan the upper portion of your fingers and after they take all your fingerprints and scan your fingers and palms and all that good stuff, you submit it. Silencer Shop takes all that information and they do their magic and they send it off to the ATF. Now, I thought that was like the waiting period, right, to get approved for my suppressors. But really you have to wait to get certified for you to get these suppressors. So then you just have to wait until you get a certification email from them. So then once I received the certification email, which received it on July 15th, so on Monday, but actually I messed up on my username. And so the entire screen got locked up and it was just a giant mess. And so I called in on Tuesday, July 16th. So then what I did is I called Coyote Creek on Tuesday, July 16th. We both got through the portal. I was on my computer, they were on their computer on their end and then we went through the forms. I finally got the right username. I inserted that username and the four digit passcode that's unique to me. And then we did that for the first can and then also the second can. So you do that process twice. So then the dealer puts in their code and then they send that out to the ATF. And then after they send out that information and that paperwork via digital email, then you start your waiting period. When you're in that waiting period, the way you know that your uh, cans have been approved, you will get an email by the ATF saying, hey, they've been approved. You can now go pick up your suppressor. You can pick up your SBR, whatever it is. So I got that email today, July 18th, around 11, 12 o'clock for both items. I got one email in the morning and one in the afternoon for both cans. It's crazy that it only took two days, literally, maybe not even a full 48 hours, but from Tuesday to Thursday, that's all I had to wait. And some guys have waited literally eight to 12 plus months just to get a silencer. Wild. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got here. Um, and of course, I'll be making videos on the channel about these suppressors. But this right here is the Velos LBP for 556 five, right here. Look at that can, beautiful. Oh, that smells so good. But here it is goes on 556. Five, I have to actually put the muzzle on there and make sure the cutie lock is all good to go. But that is one can. All right. And then this is the Spectre 9, which will go, I believe, I'll put it on my Glock 19. The Spectre, if I can get it down here, Spectre 9 for 9 mil. Look at that. Beautiful can. Yes. Let's smell it. Oh, manufactured. So both the Velos LBP and the Spectre 9 ready to be used, ready to silence ammunition on the range. So I'm pretty stoked and pretty pumped about both of these. Man, I've been wanting to get cans for a long time and I, a huge shout out to the guys over at Silencer Shop for hooking me up. You guys are awesome. 
Can't wait to make amazing content. Hope you guys like it. Hopefully this video helped you kind of see what it takes to, you know, number one, get a suppressor and number two, how long you're going to wait to receive your suppressor. I just, I just kept checking my registration at, at the ATF uh, website. I just kept refreshing like on Wednesday or uh, yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday and on Thursday morning, I kept refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. And finally I was like, Hey, I got an email. Let's go. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see any of the content with the Velos or the Spectre 9, please comment down below and I'll be sure to make that content for you guys. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.